What's up, guys? Danny Man with you three here, and today we're going to be playing a quiz. We're going to be guess that NBA player age. So I'm going to be guessing different players' ages, and yeah, I want to see how many I can get right. I challenge you guys at home to guess how many you guys can get right. Hopefully that starts into the video right now. We gotta guess two years younger. Let's go. That's six. All right, so I have six. Paul George? 27. 26. Okay. So I have six so far. Derek Rose. Let me think about this one. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to say 28. Let's go. That's seven. All right. I'm going to start pausing them now. Damian Lillard, I think he's 27. I want to say he's 27. 26. See, I have to guess, like, because this is two years ago. I don't know. Steve Nash is, like, 40-something. No. Yeah. I'm going to say 44. No, 45. 45. 45. 42. Wow. 
So he's like 44 right now. Kareem is so old. He's like 69. 69. I got it. Oh, why? All right. So that's eight, I believe. Ray Allen is like, he's like 42. 41. All right. So I still have, I think I have eight. Rajon Rondo, 29. 30. All right, so I still have eight. DeMar DeRozan, 29. He's a little bit older, 27. He's like 29 right now. Wow. And he just got traded to the Spurs. Oh, my gosh, the GOAT, Brian Scalabrini. Um, 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 um White Mamba. Um... I'm going to go with 52 for the gender. He's 38. I thought he was a lot older than that. John Wall, 27. I'm going to go with 27. Oh, shoot. 27. 26. I still have eight right. Draymond Green is 25. I know this for a fact. Bruh. Chris Paul, oh, whoa, 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 okay, I almost dropped my phone, um, oh my god, Chris Paul, 28, 31, dang, he old as dirt, Manu Ginobili's like 38, 38, 39, and he's still in the league, he's like 40 now, Dwight Howard, he's 31, 31, 30, are you kidding me? No one, no one likes Dwight Howard. Bill Russell, oh my god, I thought he, yo, he is very old. He's like 80 years old. Watch. What did I, 82, are you kidding me? J.R. Smith is like 35, 34. 31? What? Scotty Pippen? Shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, 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 um. I'm going to go with 50, no, I'm going to go with 48, 51, almost with Michael Jordan. Dikembe Mutombo is, oh my gosh, isn't he like 50, isn't he, he's around um Michael Jordan, so I'm going to say about 54, 50. Yeah, like Akeem Olajuwon's in there. Jimmy Butler. 29. No, 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 27. Right at the last second. Okay, so that's nine correct. DeMarcus, how long is this video? Oh, DeMarcus has a 26. Okay, I won't count that one. John Stockton. 55. One off. Carl Malone. Kenneth, I want to see if you can get this one. Just guess an age. I'm going to tell you he's in the 50s. 52. 52? I'm going to say 50. I'm going to say 50. I'm going to say 52. I'm going to say 52. I'm going to say 52. Are you in? Are you in? 53. Yeah, I'm doing a video. How do you do that on video? Hold on, guys. Alright, guys, we're back. Um... So, Kenneth just wanted to talk to me about something. Alright, and we're back. So, we're going with Marcus Saul. Actually, I'm going to pause again. Marcus Saul, I'm going to say. Marcus Saul. I'm going to say he's 32. 31. I still have my. It's fine. Alright. Mm. I'm going to pause this. Dominique Wolf. I'll tell you something. I think he's, he's above 40. He's retired. I'll give you that. He's retired. And when people retire, they're about 40 years old. So I say about 45. Say 45? Yeah. He's been retired for about 10 years, so I don't think he's 45. I'm going to say 56. What are you going to say? Um, 55. 55? I'm going to say 56. Let's go. I got 10. All right. I got 10 right. Jerry West. He's very old. He got he retired in like nineteen seventy something. 
Oh, he's like I'm at 64. 64? Yeah. I'm going to say 72. 78. Oh, did he retire one? Oh, Tim Duncan, he retired like two years ago. So he, I'm going to say 41. What are you going to say? You can agree with me. Yeah. You're going to say 41? Yeah. I'm going to say 41. 40. See, I knew he was. All right, so he has zero. I have one, 10. Okay, Patrick Ewing. I'm going to say 58. 72. 58? Yeah. Me and him are both going to go with 58. 54. Okay. All right, we got a couple more to go. Isaiah Thomas. Oh, this is the last one. Okay, Isaiah Thomas. Is twenty eight. Twenty five. Twenty five. He's older than that. He's twenty eight. Twenty seven. All right, guys. So that was. Oh, is there one more? No, all right. All right. So I just got a shout out. Um, whoever made this, J Noah Ten. Go subscribe to him. Um, and we're gonna do one more. Um. Hold on. We're going to do one more from King of the Fourth Quarter. If you guys don't know him, go sub to him, too. He's a, he's a very cool um, he's a very What's cool whistle? Anyway, you put your lips together and blow. I'm um, so go subscribe to King of the Fourth Quarter. So, yeah. So the history of this channel, we've done a lot of quizzes that claim that if you answer this set of questions, we'll tell you this about yourself. We'll tell you your, who your favorite player is, what your favorite team is, but never ever in the history have they got it right. So you probably think to yourself, Kenny, since they never get it right, are you going to stop taking those type of quizzes? No. So today we're playing a quiz that's claim they can guess how old we are just by answering some NBA questions. And here's here's my guess of how this quiz is going to go. They're going to give you four players. They're going to give you a players from the 80 era, from the 90 era, and from the today era. And we got to pick our favorite. And based off our answers, if we pick all people from the 80s, well, obviously, we like 30, 40 years old. If we pick all the people from the 90s, then we got to be like 30s, 20s. You get what I'm saying? But anyway... I'm probably right, but I still think it could be a fun quiz, so let's, I'm gonna, let's just go do it. Pick your favorite NBA star, and we'll guess your age. So these are my favorite stars, not the person I think is the best, so keep that in mind. My favorite ain't always going to be the best. Start quiz. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, Jordan. The best is one. I'm wearing a Bulls jersey as we speak. It's, it ain't a Jordan jersey, but it's a Bulls jersey, not, jersey nonetheless. If there's Bulls players on this list, I'm probably going to go with the Bulls player, go, with Jordan. Um, check out the Favorite video. star out of Magic like Johnson, Scottie Pippen, Stephen Curry, or T-Mac. Yep. So I loved T-Mac back in the day. Um, so go to this video. But I don't know if he was so, as fun for me to watch as Stephen Curry is right now. Because, like, T-Max Prime, I was still pretty young. And I don't know if I really appreciated how good he was. But now, I like, when I watch Steph Curry play night in and night out, I'm, I'm fascinated. Who's your guys' favorite out of these four? Magic Johnson, Stephen Curry, Scottie Pippen, or Tracy McGrady? Tell me in the comments down below. Magic, Curry, Pippen, or McGrady? Who's your favorite? Who? Don't say who you think the best. Just say your favorite one. See the two MVP seasons. So out of these four players, my favorite one of them all is Curry. Uh, Larry Bird, Charles Barkley, Kevin Durant, Dirk. It's Dirk. Dirk is my favorite power forward of all time. Even in his very, very old age, he's still doing. I have a couple questions for you guys. All right. So who do you think the best power forward is of all time? I will give you guys three, three multiple choice answers. Do you think it's Tim Duncan, Carl Malone? Or Dirk Nowitzki. All right, and I have one more question. It's another position. Who do you think the best center is of all time? Wilt Chamberlain, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, or Bill Russell? Those are you guys' questions for the day. And um, and the other question that I said for Scottie Pippen, Curry, McGrady, and I forgot the other person. But yeah, so those are the questions, and let's get back to the video. Okay, and I respect that. Nobody talking about it, but we this may be the last year we see Dirk, man. 
maybe the last year we get to see Dirk. So let's he's not getting a farewell tour like like uh Kobe did. But I, I may want to see them Dallas play one time before this year is over with. Favorite star between Russell Westbrook, Gary Payton, Chris Paul, or Pete Maravich. Chris Paul for a long time was my favorite point guard of all time. That has since changed. But for a long time, Chris Paul was my guy. I was rooting for him. And he never got past the second round, whatever. But I was rooting for him to get past those. Maybe this year, though. Oscar Robson, Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade, without a doubt. Chicago born. Chicago born. If you play for the Bulls or you're from our city, I'm probably going to be a fan of you. I'm very biased in that sense. Oh, look at that. There's Dennis Rodman. Um, Joe Ellaby, Shaq, Dwight Howard. It's got to be Shaq. Shaq, in my eyes, is the most dominant player I've ever got to watch play. Dominant big man I've ever got to watch play. Allen Iverson is the reason I'm into basketball right now. So it's him. Um, Tim Hardaway, Walt Frazier, Kyrie Irving, Allen Iverson. See, look. If, okay, look. You remember what I said in the beginning that I predicted how this quiz is going to go? They're giving us, like, one player from every era. Look. Kevin McHale, uh, 80s basically, 90s for Dennis Rodman, early 2000s for Garnett, and then now for Draymond Green. You feel me? So they doing that for every question. They doing it for every question. But the real question is, is they going to get it right when it's all said and done? Are they going to guess? Oh, for y'all that don't know, I am at the age of 21 years old. I legally can drink alcohol. Legally. Am I doing it? A little bit. Uh, favorite star, Damian Lillard, John Stockton. Steve Nash or Jerry West. Out of these, I got to go Damian Lillard. I got to go Damian Lillard as my favorite out of these guys. Favorite out of Paul George, Carmelo Anthony, Dominique Wilkins, or James Worthy. I never has been a, I've never been a big fan of um, Carmelo Anthony. So I'm going Paul George on this. Again, didn't get to see James Worthy play or Dominique Wilkins, so I can't really pick those as my favorites besides, you know, the highlights of the dunk contest in 87, 88. I think that was the year that Jordan and Dominique went head to head. Alexa, what year did Michael Jordan and Dominique Wilkins participate in the dunk contest? Sorry, I'm not sure. Pay so much money for that tool and she, she don't even know. All right. Uh, favorite player, Tim Duncan, George Gervin. It's gonna be Tim Duncan. I ain't gotta read the West. Tim Duncan is the man. Adrian Danley, Paul Pierce, Clyde Drexler, DeMar DeRozan. Similar to Carmelo Anthony, I was never really a big fan of Paul Pierce. I like, I, believe it or not, those Paul Pierce teams before KG got there, before Rondo, whatever. I like Antoine Walker. Can y'all guess why? Y'all know where Antoine Walker's from? Chicago, my hometown. So if the Celtics were playing against like the Pistons for some reason, I was going to root for the Celtics because of Antoine Walker over everything. It wasn't because Paul Pierce. So because of that, I'm going comp 10. DeMar DeRozan. Jason Kidd, John Wall, Isaiah Thomas, or John Havlicek. I'm going John Wall. Never was a huge fan of Jason Kidd. Very, very great player. Didn't really like his game too much. John Wall is a guy I can sit down and watch and really enjoy. Vince Carter, don't need to read the rest. Vince Carter is that guy. Giannis, that, when it's all said and done, Giannis may go down in history as one of my favorite players to watch. But, you know, he's, he's still pretty young in the league. So, for now, I got Vince Carter over him. I got Giannis. C-Webb, Bill Walton, Anthony Davis, y'all know how that go. Yao Ming, Chris Stubbs, Will, uh, uh, Patrick Ewan, got to be Yao. Reggie Miller, Rick Barry, Ray Allen, or Clay Thompson, we got to go Ray Allen. Y'all know Ray Allen as the second best shooter of all time. Maybe first in some people's books, but honestly, you're kind of wrong on that. Yes, he got the most of all time, but that don't make him the best shooter. The best shooter is Steph Curry. But, Ray Allen wasn't always... He had, his game was more than shooting. Look it up. Watch some old highlights of uh, Ray Allen. They weren't just sitting at the three-point line spotting up. He was way more dynamic than that. Alonzo Mourning, Chauncey Billups, yo. People back in my neighborhood back in the days called me Chauncey because they said our games were similar. Difference is, he was really good. I, like When they called me Chauncey, I was like a cardboard cutout of Chauncey, you feel me? I, obviously, I went on his level, but they said we played similar. Similar play styles, not play... You get what I'm saying. We, we weren't on the same level. Like, if Chauncey's right here, I'm...
Carly Towns, Amari Stoudemire, Dikembe Mutombo, Robert Paris, definitely Amari Stoudemire. Um, Demarcus Cousins, Powell Gasol, David Robinson, um, oh Artis Gilmore. Goodness. Powell, for the simple fact that when he was in Chicago, he was a multiple-time All-Star. He helped us out a lot. No, we did not ultimately win anything with him, but he gave us some good years here in Chicago, so he's got my respect for the rest of his career. Isaiah Thomas, Joe Dumars, Tony Isaiah Parker, Thomas. without a doubt. Baron Davis, yo, shout out to Baron Davis. Uh, look up Baron Davis highlights too if you're not familiar. Oh, Baron baby. Davis was definitely the guy. Um, Gilbert Arenas, Glenn Rice, Devin Booker, Alex oh, English, Gilbert Arenas again. And he got his own, it's not his show, but he's on his sports talk show um, on Complex named Out of Bounds. I've never actually watched it, but people keep telling me to. Maybe one day I will, but Gilbert Arenas is a character. He's a very, very entertaining dude. Grant Hill, Sean Marion, Sidney Moncrief, like Gordon. or Gordon Hayward, gotta be Sean Marion. I think my boy Legend of Winning did a whole video about how underrated Sean Marion was. It was a, I think it was low. There's a lot of people making like similar videos like that, but I'm pretty sure it was low. It was a really good video. Kevin Love, Jack Sigma, Sean Kemp, Ron Artest. Well, one of these players did play for the Bulls. So y'all know how this go. Shout out to Jack Sigma though, NBA champion Jack Sigma. All right. Let's see. How old am I, Quiz? Okay, so yes, they got it right, but this is such a like. Lit I was literally expecting them to guess like 21. You feel me? Like I wasn't expecting them to give us such a range. You might as well say either you you're between one or 45. You feel me? Like that's. So There you go. Majority of people that's gonna take this quiz may fall into this range. So that's that's kind of a cop. You are between 20 and 30 years old. Your answers indicates that uh, most of your favorite childhood players have either already hit their prime or recently retired. Stop it. It's facts. Wade is gonna retire soon. Braun is gonna retire soon. Well, I mean like, yeah, he probably got five more years or so, but that's still soon. Dirk is retiring this year, maybe, dog. Those are the guys I grew up watching, and they're they're done. They're done. Y'all new generation. Y'all got some. Y'all got some players out there, but I don't know. My generation was just a little bit better. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, it, please leave it a like. Um, go check out this video. Go check out his channel, actually. King of the fourth quarter. He's an awesome dude. I like him a lot. He knows a lot about the NBA. He studies a lot. Um, he has a uh, podcast named Through the Wire. Go check that out. Um, it's on um, House of Highlights YouTube channel. And yeah, Diddy Man went to career here. And peace. Actually, before I leave, go check out his, the quiz that he did. Um, you can, When you hit this video, when you get the video, there's a link in the description right there. Right there, the very top um, description. Description. Go follow him on Twitter, Instagram. Um, if you want, you can buy his merch. Snapchat, go Twitch. Um, all that kinds of stuff. This is the Anime123. And peace.